Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady right here. Did a video on her because she talked about what happened to her at Walmart. I, I'd seen her at least once before cooking, you know, and a couple other things, but I want y'all to listen to something she has to say. Chicken, spinach, uh, Quaker oats, cinnamon, air fryers. Hold on. Chicken, spinach, Quaker oats, air fryers. Beef. <laughs> y'all are not going to know or believe. Give me a second. I'm going to go to another list so that y'all can hear the full list of the amount of recalls that are going on right now. Now, here's the problem. These are recalls, people. Recall. recall -a. Okay, these are recalls. And so this is what y'all need to know. We're going to go through the list of the recalled items because there are investigations going on right now so that y'all know. The governments are supposed to be providing this, but they are not providing this information to y'all regarding these <coughs> recalls. Recalls. Pay attention. So we got Quaker Oats, granola bars, uh, let's see, them chicken nuggets, and what else are they doing? Strawberries, cantaloupe, uh, let's see, lettuce. Man, just recalls on all of this stuff. And the fact is they're putting plastic, plastic inside food. Now, technically, some of it is happening, uh, but by chance, but it's still happening. Recall. -er. Anyway, all of these recalls. Hold on, let her finish. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to start with the air fryer first. And then we're just going to go down the line with food. Now, hold on. Y'all know how much I talk about air fryers. Whew. Man, I got one sitting right here. And I said, I ain't used this bad beast. And this one's a beast. I ain't used it in at least four months. But pay attention. So these air fryers have been recalled because while you're using them, while you're cooking with them, the basket, this particular ones have two baskets in it where you can use it as one or you can use it as two. They are breaking. And what's happening is that the plastic is not designed well enough to withstand the heat. So they're breaking that the hot and the cold and the hot and the cold and the hot and the cold and the hot and the cold. Eventually the plastic becomes brittle and it breaks. But the problem with that brittle you walk away from the air fryer and it's still going because the mechanism hasn't told it to shut off. So the plastic starts to burn. Next thing you know, Mama, you okay? Did the Jenny get out of line? What, what happened to the baby? What, left in the crib? Oh, okay, that's what's happening. Hold on. Turning into burn hazards. This is what the two models look like brand of air fryer is Empower, and it is the Power X model. You see all of that power? That plastic can't handle that. That's too much power. Okay, and then it, the, 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 the second power doesn't even want to give its name. It's like Power X. You know, like it's more Mighty Morphin. Rangers of power, you know? And in the pinned comment, the first comment, I will leave the exact model numbers. But so far, there have been 41 reports and three reports of actual burns. This is a nationwide recall. They have been sold at Walmart, Target, Kohl's, and other retailers nationwide. So if you have one of these models, stop using it and return it. Again, the exact model numbers will be in the pinned comment, the first comment. So this next recall is again for foreign matter being found. Although this time, at least we know what the foreign matter is. This is for chicken, chicken nuggets, TGI Fridays, frozen chicken nuggets, the honey barbecue flavor. There have been reports of finding clear, hard plastic underneath the breading. So it's not visible until you bite down or you feel it or you look at it. It's cut. Huh. That's it. It has a very unusual taste to it. Let me see. Oh, God, just cut my... Oh, cut my... Oh, oh, my tongue! Okay, that's what's happening. Hold on. This is clear, hard plastic that's being found underneath the breading of the frozen TGI honey barbecue 
chicken nuggets. And they're actually- Why would you buy TGI frozen chicken nuggets in the first place, huh? You think that's the chicken nuggets they sell at TGI? Come on now, don't fall for that. Actually called chicken bites. I did say nuggets, but on the box, it's called chicken bites. Now, these are being sold nationwide. The recall is nationwide. That means everywhere, guys. This is for the 15 ounce packaging. Now, are other chicken bites of TGI Fridays affected? We don't know. The expiration date on the box is December 26, 2024. And because these are frozen, you can easily buy them and then have them in your freezer. So if you have any TGI, TGI Friday chicken nuggets, check your freezer for them. And if so, do not consume it return it or throw it out. Ooh, that's just two. We have more to go. I hope you all realize the importance of finding out this information early so that you'll know what to stay away from. You'll know what to look for. You will be aware. Did Hold you on, young lady. Ladies and gentlemen. Did you know about the chicken recall? Did you know about the air fryer recall? Take a second. If you are not abreast of these recalls because they are coming at us fast right now for whatever reason. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep you updated as much as possible as soon as I find out about any of these recalls. So thank you. Hold on. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the channel for this young lady is cooking at Pam's place. Cooking at Pam's place. I like Pam, I, I, I've watched a couple of her videos. This one bothered me greatly, what Walmart did to her. <clears throat> okay, this one bothered me greatly. But they, uh, no, 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 I wanna make sure y'all understand. Walmart didn't actually do something to her. Walmart actually did something for her. Okay, they actually helped her out, okay? So go watch it. It, 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 it. It's all right. I promise you, you're going to be like, oh, that's all, that, that's all right. Okay, but look, beware of the massive threat, seven dangerous food recalls. I like the fact that she's focusing on that because guess what? Nobody else is. She's made that her platform. So go ahead and listen to Miss Pam. Okay, talk about the food recalls, especially those of you with families who are often going to the store and buying foods. When my knee, I told you guys about the knee pain I was having late last week well most of it is gone now uh most of i mean it's still slightly there but because i've adjusted the chair that i'm sitting in okay i'm no longer at the highest height my knees are no longer bent in that very same angle i'm not used to that i haven't experienced that i probably a long time ago but not recently uh, in the last 20 years so that type of pain was getting on my last nerve and i thought it was because of something i ate and so i had to mentally go over everything i ate only to find out it wasn't what I ate. It was actually the chair I was sitting in. And watching a couple of videos, as I pointed out the videos, using a spoon and a knife for cheap, uh, for cheap pain. <laughs> I was trying to say cheer. Um, for knee pain. Yeah, cheer and knee, cheap pain. Anyway, uh, watching those videos and how to massage that part of the leg. And I have a, hold on. Oh, oh this thing is heavy. Hold on. So that y'all hear it. Got to turn it on. Can you hear that? That's me hitting the microphone. It's a massager. And when I found out what the problem was, I just started using a massager instead of the, uh, what you call it? The knife and fork, because that area using a knife and fork, I'm very, I'm tender to the touch as far as uh, muscular dystrophy. So I, just the slightest touch causes me some pain. It depends on whether or not I can tune it out. So using the massager in the very same area, stretching the leg out while I use it, uh, that works. And so that's actually helped very much with the pain. Okay, so I'm not being awake all night. Matter of fact, I slept at 8 o'clock this morning. Man, if you know my sleeping, I usually get up at 1 and stay up all morning. That's been happening lately, but it hadn't happened today. So let me turn this massager off of this leg because, like I said, ever since I found out how what the problem was coming from, then I'm able to handle the problem. And it worked. It really worked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So with the food recalls and other things, I'm going to suggest you 
especially those of you with families, that you take the time to do your research. Stay away from those foods just because they mass produce it and just because you think that they're doing quality control. They are not doing quality control. Look, take it from somebody who used to work in factories. There are oftentimes the managers let things go because they've made the decision to, no, we're not going to worry about that right now. No, because that's going to cost us this, or that's going to take this, or we're going to have to shut down production, and that's going to blah, 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 blah. So be careful. Go to websites like Miss Pam. Cooking with Pam, I think it is. Uh, give me a second to make sure that we are cooking with Pam. So cooking at Pam's place. Go ahead and sign on to cooking at Pam's place. Now, I want you all to know, this is what y'all need to know. I don't know Miss Pam. I never met Miss Pam. I've only been to a couple of her videos over the past couple of years. If I'm not mistaken, I think there is another video where she has a, a co-host on there. But I don't know because it's been a minute, y'all. And this video, she's got 1 million views since December 17th. Today's the 24th. That's cooking with Miss Pam. So I'm going to tell y'all, go to Miss Pam. I got to turn this one off because this is a video on her site like on mine. Go to Miss Pam. Watch Miss Pam. Okay? I like what she does. I like her cooking. Okay, I've seen it. I've watched it. I know what Miss Pam does. Okay? So y'all go take a look at Miss Pam, especially some of y'all that don't know how to cook. And don't convince yourself you know how to cook. Oh, Lord, don't convince you. If somebody told you, oh, man, this is really good. You know how to cook. They lying to you. Okay, if they praising you too much, they lying to you. Uh, now, look, hold on now. I want to tell you because I got to tell you this because this is, this is apropos to the conversation. Young man named Kenny. I told you about Kenny. I met Kenny in uh, 2005 in New York. When I first got to New York, didn't know anybody in New York. And Kenny was the first person I saw that I felt was worth knowing. And that has proved true. Kenny and I have been in communication ever since he communicated back with me. Um, and Kenny is an all right person. Well, Kenny called me up the other day and he says, we were talking. I told him I was cooking. He said, oh, yeah, what are you cooking? And I told him. And Kenny, Kenny said, man, I'm still remembering the spaghetti that you cooked that day. Now, look, I didn't cook spaghetti. I cooked spaghetti for Kenny. That was way back in 2006. Okay, this is 2023, and Kenny is still talking about the spaghetti that I made that he ate. He's not the only one who talks about my spaghetti. I don't do spaghetti because that was what, you know, meat. I don't do the meat anymore. I mean, I still cook spaghetti the, pretty much the same way. And I use the, what do you call it, the vegetation meat, not the so-called actual meat meat. So the imitation meat. And he's still talking about that to this day. I have people that I was around in the 1990s that are still talking about the breakfast that I would cook or the dinners that I would cook or the lunches that I would cook. Having They used to have these, I, I, I wouldn't go to one now if you paid me to go and if you promised me that I would have nothing but a ball around me, shielding me for every, everything and everybody, and you promised me that once it was over, you were still going to pay me again. I wouldn't go to one. I used to go to these picnics and these gatherings all the time where people would meet for breakfast. It was a potluck type setting, and I used to cook all the time for those events. Uh, when I was a kid, when I was 15, 13, 12 years old, I used to do cakes, desserts, and everybody would always talk about how perfect my cakes were. My mother and them would tell you how I would be cooking cakes all the time and how important it was. And I experimented with so many different recipes as a kid. I'm just remembering that part right now, the thing about the cakes. Although I may have mentioned it before, I didn't, literally didn't even remember how many cakes I done cooked. How many times I was in that oven, how many times I was waiting for it to rise, and how many times I used to set the cakes out on the table for the family to eat. Okay? That was me. I was the one in the kitchen all the time, but as my mother, and I can tell you her thinking was, she knew that I would choose to be alone because she knew that I wouldn't be able to tolerate people. Sorry. I can't tolerate! I can't stand! Anyway, uh, she knew that. And so she taught me everything, how to sew, 
how to cook. Yes, I can put a needle and thread together and sew it like the best of them. How to cook, how to do dishes. My mother taught me all of those necessary skills for survival. So I give her credit for that. But when I cook, I cook pretty much the same way my mother cooked. Now, my, hey, hold on now. My mother cooked for seven kids. And then when the relatives came by, when the relatives came to visit, my mother was always cooking, even for them. And nobody, I want you to understand, ever complained about her food. Lord have mercy, because it wasn't because we grew up there and we got used to her food. It was because my mother learned how to cook from her mother. And when I would go by my aunt's house, they cooked the exact same way that my mother cooked. So this was a family thing. This wasn't, uh, you know, somebody learning how to cook on their own when they were on their own. Because many people learn how to cook on their own. Because their mother didn't tell them how much salt to add. See, I don't add salt. Why you don't add? Because there's too much salt in everything else. Why do I need to add extra salt? So I stopped adding salt a long time ago. And sugar, disproportionate. So I only add sugar according to the proportion that it needs to be added. So, and so forth. So enough about food. See, Pam, look what you got me doing. Talking about food, woman. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I did this video to talk to you about all the recalls, national recalls. There's more than the list that she gave there and more than the list that I gave. There's a whole lot more going on. Okay. They're recalling all of this food. And the problem is they have no choice because they're finding the junk in too many products. So the FDA is forcing these companies to do a recall. These companies are not doing a voluntary recall. Okay, these companies are not doing a voluntary recall. These companies are doing what's known as mandatory recalls. Why? So let's do this. Hold on. FDA recalls cases of Diet Coke, Sprite, and Fanta from three southern states. Diet Coke, Sprite, and Fanta? Really? I think those are all Sprite products. So hold on. Give me one second. Food. C A L L S. So I just put in food recalls. Y'all gonna do the same thing. Google doesn't like me because it says my VPN isn't a VPN and it don't want me on their website without a VPN. I'm kidding. It doesn't like the VPN. Recall, market withdrawals, and safety alerts. Food and Drug Administration. That's another place for y'all to be taking a trip to. And Walmart's already let me know that food, uh, pet food is being recalled. Okay. Walmart's already said that, but my doggie's been gone <laughs> for almost a year. <laughs> anyway, um, Food and Safety Inspection Service to government. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Recalls, public health alerts. Recall, public health alert. Recall, no thank you. I mean, I should subscribe, but I'm not going to because I'm tired of my emails getting beat up. Skanga, meat company, recalls ground beef products due to possible E. coli contamination. This is the 22nd of December, ladies and gentlemen. This was two days ago. This was two days ago. Okay. Oh, and they are they are reporting an issue with plastic. Where did I see plastic? Contaminated E. coli department. I know I saw plastic someplace. Well, anyway, uh, this is someone's prepared foods. Recall boneless chicken bites produce possible foreign matter. This is the plastic one. That's the chicken bites, December 15th. And then here's this one. Issues a public alert for beef soup products due to a misbranding and undeclared allergen. So can you imagine people eating this and they're allergic to it and they get sick? <sighs> then Wayne Farms, Bruce and his company, LLC, recalled ready-to-eat chicken breast product that may be undercooked. <laughs> but it's ready to eat. <laughs> Ooh, medium rare. Garland Venture, 
Cheese recalls ready to eat chicken fried rice products due to possible Listeria contamination. And Pele Poultry Corporation recalls ready to eat beef and poultry products due to possible Listeria contamination. Then Skyline Provisions Incorporated recalls raw ground beef products due to possible foreign matter contamination. Plastics. Why are all of these different companies having the same problems? You didn't get that, people? Hold on. This is Pele with Listeria. And this is Garland with Listeria. Wait, hold on. We go up here. Get out of the way. We go up here and we see, no, that's undercooked. Nope, that's not. This is the one right here. Foreign matter. This is Simmons. Foreign, this is December 2015. Uh, sorry, December 15th. Simmons. Foreign matter contamination. Hold on now. Right about here. Skyline. Foreign matter contamination. Hold on now. Haven't we seen this before? Undeclared allergen. Misbranding. Whoa. Hold on now. Then we have undeclared allergen. Misbranding. Hold on now. Hold on now. Foreign matter contamination. Foreign matter. Tyson. Foreign matter contamination. Uh-oh. Two, three, four, five, six. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all are going to have to do some research. You have to take the time because your families, your health, your family's lives are at stake here. Now, remember, you heard her say, why are there so many recalls by so many different companies at one time? Pay attention. All of a sudden, she says, and I agree with her, misbranding undeclared allergen without benefit of inspection. So, recalls ready to eat and Panda products produced without benefit of inspection? You mean they just sat up there and just produced it and sent it out there and didn't do any inspection? Uh-oh. Sorry, Charlie. And then Olivelle recalls ready to eat ham. Now, these are all, this is back to October, y'all. So we, we okay on that, but then probably many of y'all ate this anyway. What if there are side effects? What if there are side effects? Now, this is this one company. Hold on. Or right, one, one government agency. One love. One life. Hold on now. Recalls, market withdrawals, and safety alerts. This is the Food and Drug Administration. You know the ones who lie to everybody? This is the Food and Drug Lying Administration. The ones who lie to everybody. Okay? Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Recall description. Undeclared soy. Presence of glass. Particulate matter. Presence of glass. Particulate matter. Now it says no brand. What is this? What's the name of the company? Company name is Hospira. Okay, but what's the product? The product description is for injections, USP 15 units, single dose, glass flip-on valve. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what a velomycin, what is a velomycin? I don't know what that is, so let's find out what velomycin injections are. I want you to pay attention. You guys don't understand, do you? This is individuals injecting us into their bloodstream. We already talked about what happens when you eat regular table salt, how it has glass and sand particulates, pay attention, particulate matter mixed in, goes to the blood vessels and it strips the blood vessels of that smoothness that allows the blood to go through the veins. Issues a voluntary nationwide recall. Voluntary nation. Oh, it's a Pfizer company. Oh, no, that explains everything. Oh, that, what am I? I don't need to look up nothing to find out why they would have glass particulates inside any of their vials for vaccines. 
no, I would not. Lord have mercy. I I understand now. I am so sorry, y'all. We can't talk about Pfizer on here. I don't know why they didn't just say they said no brand. It's Pfizer. They should have said that. I would have left that alone. Lord have mercy. Anyway, this is, these are drugs. These are medical devices. This is food and beverages, uh, caramel candy bars. Okay, now what's wrong with particularly allergen coconut? Okay, uh, they usually do give uh, some indication. This one is a little bit more, I like the other one better because it went straight to it. But these are all, ladies and gentlemen, let's stop here. 2019, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2021, 21, 21, 21, 22, 22. 23. Ain't that something? This is all within the last four days. Ten companies, probably more, in four days. Let's do that. Let's see how many companies. We're going to do all the way to 100. We call I. 19. Okay, so yeah, that, that was it. And then we, out of the 100, let's see where the 100 day starts at. Probably October. Yep. I, no, no. September 29th, 28. Candy. White. Cantaloupe. Food and beverages. Foodborne illness. Particulate matter. Okay. Potential presence of glass particulates. Same company, ladies and gentlemen. The same company. Sodium bicarbonate injections. What is glass doing in sodium bicarbonate injections? I wonder why. Ladies and gentlemen, so when you hear people, pay attention, talking about taking baking soda, yeah, and, and small amounts, this is sodium bicarbonate injections. Doctors are injecting people with baking soda. Why? I don't know. Find out the medicinal uses. Okay, this is nasal spray contaminated with microbacterium. Uh, thick tie bacterialis, and I don't know what any of these are. Um, not mine because I don't take it, I don't do nasal sprays. But if you do, you need to be checking chocolate flavored protein powder, chocolate flavored protein powder. Oh, undeclared sesame. Well, I love sesame, I went to that street, I kept asking everybody, could they tell me how to get there? And I just went there. Nobody had to tell me how to get there. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Brings back memories, doesn't it? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, understand that there are quite a few things out there that you need to be aware of, especially in these days. And although there was a lot of joking done here, come here to the Food and Drug Administration. Go to Mrs. Pam, cooking with Pam. Okay? Cooking at Pam's place, excuse me. Go to that, and then go to the food inspection safety site. And look up the recalls. And then stay, look, I'm going to tell you what they're not going to tell you. Stay away from those products forever. Excuse me? Stay away from those products forever. Well, aren't companies allowed to make a mistake? Yeah, they're allowed to make a mistake. Stay away from those products forever. They're supposed to have a quality control. Each one of these companies is supposed to have quality control. Sorry, some of y'all don't understand what I'm talking about. Walmart's quality control. Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, Walmart's a piece of junk company, okay? But even they have a quality control. Quality control, U.S. Product Quality and Control, or Quality and Compliance Manual. This is Walmart's Quality and Control Manual, how they maintain quality and control of their stores. Every company that produces goods in the United States has a quality and control department. So if they have a quality and control department, how are they letting products out that has glass in it? 
and months go by before they announce it to the public. So stay away from that company because that means they're not doing their job. Stay away from that company because that company is sitting up there not doing its job. Literally just that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, there are certain products from certain companies I will not buy ever again. I do not buy Coke because I know what Coke does to a person's interior when you drink that junk. I've seen it take away corrosion from a battery because that's what I used it for. If I buy Coke, that's all I'm doing it for is to clean battery posts when I have to do it in a hurry. That's the only reason why I'll ever buy Coke. I do not drink that junk. They know it's junk because they don't even drink it. The executives of Coke do not drink Coke. The majority of them don't, okay? <laughs> so I don't touch that junk. If they're not willing to do it, why would I be? Why would I put my life on the line for their product? Just because it's sold and it has a label on it doesn't mean that it is what it says. So y'all be careful. All right, now I gotta go. Heidi, 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 ho. Okay? I gotta go. And for the rest of y'all who vacationed today, kick it back, well, whatever. <laughs> I gotta go. Y'all take care. Arrivederci.